Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, January 12th. It's time for Daily Devotion. Today, I'm going to read uh, Mark's account of the first disciples. It is Mark 1, 16 through 20. <clears throat> As Jesus walked beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and followed him. When he had gone a little further, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John in a boat preparing their nets. Without delay, he called them, and they left their father, Zebedee, in the boat with the hired men and followed him. Each and every one of us um, have, a, have a call story. Uh, it's a time that God saw us at our proverbial fishing boats, um, casting nets, and called us to follow uh, Jesus. Um, some of it, some of us, the call story was so early in our lives, there's, we don't remember it. Uh, you know, we could have, uh, you know, for me, I was raised in a, uh, in a Christian family. My parents and uh, brought me to church every Sunday, taught me about God and um, not just the stories, taught me about the relationship part. And so to be honest, I don't remember when God called me to be uh, a follower of Jesus. Uh, but we all have that story. We all have that, that time when we realize that our life is not as full without God, that our, no matter what we're doing, um, we can't have true joy until we follow God. Uh, I, I've always been a little envious of, of the people who have come to, to, uh, to know Jesus later in life where they can remember that time, where they remember what was before and what is after. I have uh, since realized that I'm, uh, I've become more thankful over the years that I got to live a time where I never knew life without Jesus. But so there are really just awesome parts about both. The other thing that's cool about this is um, not all of us uh, immediately left our nets and followed Jesus. Um, shockingly, all of us at times have not been quite as excited about following Jesus. We've all decided that it would be better to follow ourselves for a while and um, and. We kind of go back to our fishing, uh, our fishing, uh, and then we get called again. To me, that's that's the amazing part about God's call. Um, I, I'm so thankful God called us in the first place, but I'm in a lot of ways even more thankful that God keeps calling us, that God keeps reaching out to us um, as we go back to our normal lives without God. We have, a, we have a Lord that is, loves us so much that they keep calling us over and over again. And at times we run, we leave our nets and we run to follow, follow God. And then that lasts for a while and we wander off again. Other times, you know, we, we ask God for one, one last cast and that casting of our nets turned into four or five or six. And then, then we wind up wandering after Jesus. God never gives up on us. And I am so thankful for that and astounded by it because I'd probably give up after the hundredth time. But God hasn't. Uh, so today, maybe you're in a place where you are running after Jesus, where you have left your nets behind and you are just running full speed. And that is awesome. And I pray that that's where we all are. But there's probably the majority of us are somewhere in the midst of either kind of maybe even wandering away from Jesus or where we're starting to follow Jesus, but half-heartedly maybe. And that's okay too. It's not where we want to be. It's not where we hope to be, but it's where we are. And God still loves us and God still calls us. So wherever you are in your path, you're being called and you're being loved just as I am being called and loved. 
Let's pray. Lord, thank you for this morning. Thank you for calling us away from our fishing boats. Thank you for calling to us as we keep going back to our fishing boats. Or as instead of dropping our nets and running after you, we, we dawdle or we try to get one or two last parts of ourselves in there. Help us to see how amazing your call is and how your call is for us and not you. So that way we will just follow you at full sprint. Help us to know your love, but more than anything, thank you for keep calling. Amen.